We started uh, two and a half years ago. Let's see if I make this work. Uh, we started two and a half years ago, and in April, uh, two years ago, we bought the Los Filos mine in Mexico from Goldcorp. And in April last year, we bought the Brazilian assets, the Brazilian company Brio. Uh, so today, we now have four producing mines, and this year we anticipate producing 400,000 ounces. Our reserve base is now 7.1 million ounces, and we have two fully funded growth projects, the expansion of Los Filos, and also the restart of Santa Luz in Brazil, which will bring our production to six or 700,000 ounces, but more importantly, our EBITDA should be in excess of 300,000. That's measured at 1250, so hopefully if prices stay as they are now, it'll be significantly higher than that. We have phased the development of these projects. Uh, we're starting Los Filos expansion in Q3, which I remind myself is about a week away, uh, and we're looking to start the reconstruction of Santa Luz at the beginning of 2021. So we'll finance these mines from our internal cash flow and also from the recent debt financing that we've done. This just gives a quick highlight of the first quarter this year where we've produced 105,000 ounces uh, at an all-in sustaining cost of about 927. Uh, recent developments, well, I think the most significant thing was we completed the Los Feasibility, Los Filos Feasibility Study, which brought our reserves at Los Filos from 1.7 when we acquired the mine to now uh, up to 4.5 million ounces. We also determined the phasing of the development and the phasing of Los Filos versus the phasing and building of Santa Luz. We uh, announced a few weeks ago a uh, new credit facility of $200 million five and a half year term loan and a $200 million five and a half year revolver. We said uh, in a press release that we would complete that and draw down by the end of June, and I think I have about four or five days to do that, and I think we'll do that later this week. So we'll be fully funded uh, to go forward with that development. Importantly, the phasing uh, has enabled us to have sufficient money uh, from our facilities without having to go to the equity markets and dilute our shareholders. So we can take the company towards 700,000 from where we are now without any dilution to shareholders. This shows the phasing. It shows the $65 million we'll start spending on the Burma Hall underground at Los Filos. The 33 we'll start spending at Guadalupe. Uh, and then the beginning of construction of the CIL plant uh, at Los Filos uh, in Q3 20, and then Santa Luz at the beginning of 2021. This just shows the Los Filos mine. Uh, it was the fourth largest gold mine uh, in Mexico. Uh, it started in 2008. It's produced over 5, 000, 5 million ounces. It consists of two large open pits and one underground mine at the moment, and it is entirely heat leach operation. Uh, so, say it has about 4.5 million ounces with a lot of exploration potential, which we'll still keep on looking at and developing as we go forward. Production in last year in our ownership was 195,000 ounces. This year, we're in the range of 200 to 220. The expansion is the development of a second underground mine, Burma Hall Underground, underneath the Burma Hall Open Pit. The enlargement of the other open pit mine, Los Filos, and the rephasing of Burma Hall into two phases, bringing forward the second portion, Guadalupe, which has higher reserves, higher higher grade earlier on, and the construction of the CIL plant. We will carry on heat leaching for the life of the mine, the lower grade material. The CIL will treat the higher grade underground material and some of the additional laws that we can't treat through the CIL plant. Uh, the mine is in Guerrero State. Uh, we have just negotiated a very strong community support agreement uh, for six years, we did that at the end of April, so we have the community support going forward for the construction and expansion of the mine. Santa Luz, Brazil, a restart operation. Uh, capital cost, 82 million. It'll take about 10 months to do. Uh, it'll produce 100, 120,000 ounces a year uh, at an all-in sustaining cost, according to the feasibility study of just uh, 
of just under $800 an ounce, which would mean our Brazil operations would be producing in excess of $300,000 a year uh, at about uh, high 800s per ounce going forward. So what is our strategy? Our strategy for shareholder value uh, is that we've completed two deals. Now we must focus on those mines, optimizing them. At the same time, we start the construction of the two projects, which have extraordinary IRRs, one because one is expansion and one because the other is a restart, but very, very good economics. They will bring our all in sustaining costs significantly down as we go forward and increase the quality of our assets. So we have to follow a disciplined approach to doing this. This is why we have uh, phased the development. So not only do we avoid the dilution and the financial uh, pressures, but we're also able to manage the projects on a step-by-step -step basis. So our objective is to inter maximize internal cash flow uh, and to achieve smooth implementation of the projects. Importantly, there is a lot of potential, I say, for exploration at Los Filos, and we will continue with that program. I told you this was a short story. I've come to the end of it. So we have four producing mines, 400,000 ounces, 7 million ounces uh, of reserves, two fully funded projects that we can go forward with now, uh, which will take us to six or 700,000 ounces, uh, and focus very much on internal cash flow, giving shareholder value that way. And I think I have time for questions, but I'm not allowed to have them, so I'll ask a couple of questions. I'll ask a question that I'm often asked, why is your share price so low if you have such a great company? A number of answers. First answer is, I think people were concerned with the amount of short-term debt repayment we had to take care of this year. We had about $100 million we had to pay. We have done that through this new facility. People are also concerned about, were we going to rush ahead and try and build things too fast and trip up in doing that? I hope, hopefully we've answered that by phasing the construction and coming forward with a plan. I think another question people, sorry, another reason for the question is that we have a fairly particular shareholder base because we did a lot of the acquisitions by vendor take back. Our three largest shareholders own 50% of our stock. 45 shareholders represent about 85% of our shareholding base. So Meg and I, not that we're great, but I think we know most of our shareholders by first name. Result, very, very poor liquidity in the market. And I think that's the reason that's holding us back at the moment. Now we can demonstrate we have the finance, we've overcome that problem. Now we can demonstrate we have a plan further forward. Our job now is to carry on, let the management implementation team take care of those, and we now have to talk much more to shareholders about our base and where the company stands and where it's going and the value of the stocks. Having answered my own question, I'll say thank you very much.